I'm going to show you now how to use content tools inside your course. Now, I'm, I'm not a big promoter and a strong fan of, uh, of content tools for the simple reason that you don't have to have content inside and paginated within a course in order to have a good online course. But it's one of the first things that people ask and so I'm going to show you how to create some content inside your course. Now we're in a different uh, theme or skin from the one we used in the previous video. Don't worry about that. That's just look and feel stuff but everything is the same just the buttons here look different. So we're going to go to my courses and we're going to enter the course that we created in a previous video which is called Introduction to E-Learning and now you'll see that we've still got um, turn editing on over here. Uh, we'll come back to that another time and down here on the left hand side you'll see the plugins that we've used uh, announcements course content and file manager and we're going to create some content so obviously we'll go to course content now let's use some text and we'll use some text from the lorem epsom uh, file so it's totally meaningless and we will paste in some text now what is it we're creating here well we're creating a chapter. Before you can put any content pages in, you need to create at least one chapter. Uh, the course content is divided into chapters, and because it's divided into chapters, you can organize it according to these topics. So let's create the chapter. The chapter is called Nemville Nissel in Lachas, and we save that. So now we have the first page of content. Um, and notice that our tools are over on the right hand side now it's just how we've set this up um, now we can start adding pages to this chapter by either clicking add page to this chapter or by clicking the plus sign uh, up here where it says add page to this chapter so let's add a page to the chapter and let's use another uh, bit of text from lorem epsom and this one is called Aquilam. I'm not even going to try to say it. And let's paste the text in here. And there we have our next uh, first page of text in our chapter. And so we have the page of text that we just created, and we can navigate to the chapter. If we go back to the chapter, you can see. We can show and hide contents once we've put uh, text in, and we can add another chapter. So let's add another chapter just f for fun. Uh, let's call this one Crassvel Susipit Magna. And let's add a paragraph of text from Lorem Epsom. I'm running out of Lorem Epsom text here now. And let's save the chapter. And so now we have another chapter. By the way, when we were editing the chapter, you notice that we, we could have a release date and an end date. We could also show only the introduction f uh, to the chapter, or we could make the entire chapter contents not visible to students. So let's go back. Let's go back to our two chapters. Now you can see we have two chapters. And you can see that one has got one page and the other has no pages. You can also move the chapter up and you can add a new chapter. What we're we going to do here, we're going to add a page to this chapter and we're going to use some more lorem epsom text. Notice I just delete the title. There's no need to have titles in the page, it's just default text. Okay, now what we're going to do in this page is we're going to add an image. Okay, so we're going to click here we're going to browse the server. Now quite a large pop-up comes up with quite a lot of stuff on it. But we're going to use the Think Differently image that we uploaded in the previous video. And we're going to put in the alt text. Think Differently. Because we're concerned about usability. And we're going to make the, le the image left aligned. And we're going to say OK. And there's our image. Uh, let's just move it up so that it is uh, aligned to the paragraph. There we go. Now you'll notice one thing here. The 
paragraph text and the image abut one another. This is always a, d a problem on all systems when you're inputting images uh, the, where the system uses this kind of what's the big editor. So what you can do is you can right click the image and you can go to image properties, go to advanced and you can actually put in some some styles. So if you look down here you'll see style and it gives the width and height of the image and it says float left. So what we're going to do is we're going to say margin right 10 pixels, 10 px. Sometimes it's good to do margin bottom as well. So we'll go margin bottom 10 px as well. Here we don't have enough text to uh, to worry about what happens on the bottom, but if we had a lot of text, we could also put in margin bottom. Oops, margin dash bottom. Those are standard CSS. If you're going to be creating online content, it's a good idea to know a little bit of HTML and a little bit of CSS. Now you notice that the text has moved away from the image a little bit, and if there was more text underneath it, let's just do it and see what happens. You see we've also put some margin underneath. Probably the image is a little bit of margin already. <coughs> and there you go. Once we've done that, we can save the page. And now there we have it. Of course the image is, uh, is taking up all the space and so it's not wrapping because of the size of the display area. Uh, it's scrunched up a bit because of the small size that I have to make it. Uh, for recording the video. Here's what it will look like at its uh, at its proper size for my screen. Okay, that's how, that's it. That's how you add content to a course. Simple as that. You can add videos, you can add flash animations, you can add whatever you want. There are tools for doing it, just as pretty much the same way we did uh, add the image. As I said before though, it's perfectly legitimate to have a course with no content in this particular content tool. But as this is an overview of all the tools, I felt it was important to start with this one. Now we'll move on to some of the other tools in some of the upcoming videos that we'll be doing. That's all for now. Thank you. Bye.